This is what my Milwaukee rack now looks like, and this is how I did it. Step one was to set the saw up for 3D scanning using markers and stickers. Then using the laser function of the Metro X 3D scanner, I scanned the body of the saw until I had enough point cloud data to generate a mesh from to then process into Autodesk's Fusion 3D modeling software. The third step was to draw in some mounting brackets for the saw. I wanted to keep the brackets as small as possible to cut down on the printing material while still providing enough strength to hold the weight of the Milwaukee Super Saw. And the next step was to let the Bamboo Lab P1S 3D printer work its magic. The parts came out looking great. They were printed using Bamboo Lab's Pet G material. The final step was to mount the new brackets to my power tool board, which is just made from some 16mm plywood. And from here, I reinstalled my original 3D printed mounts, and as a result, 